Now to a tragic story involving a northern Kentucky family. A father and his three children are dead after a crash in Virginia. They were on their way home from vacation. One person in that car did survive. Cassie Arsenault is here with the mother's fight to stay alive. Cassie. Paula, I can't think of a more traumatic scenario for a mother to lose all three of her children and their father in a single moment. As she undergoes multiple surgeries in Virginia, her family and friends stand by, ready to embrace her when she returns. Life can change without a moment's notice. People don't ever really think that this kind of thing will happen to their family. From a family celebrating a fun-filled vacation to a car gone up in flames on their trek home. Now a father, Anthony Snow, and his three children are dead. Just looking into their eyes, you know, they say the eyes are the window to the soul. Um, you could just tell how happy they were to be alive, how happy they were to be in the moment, in every moment. Joseph Snow, who just turned 13 on this very vacation, loved football and riding bikes. 11-year-old Mary adored art. And nine-year-old Victor found intense joy in making others laugh. For anybody to lose a child, it, it hurts. I don't know. And to know how loving she is, she didn't deserve that. All. No one does, but especially her. The only survivor in this fiery crash, a mother, 34-year-old Aisha Palmasano. She woke up with her family torn from her grasp. She's the most selfless person I've ever met in my life. She went without to make sure her kids had. Now this woman, a girlfriend and a mother, will try to make a full recovery, not only physically healing her painful wounds, but an emotional one that cuts much deeper. Hug your kids um, because you never think it's going to happen to you and then it does and then you can't do that. That simple thing of just hug your kids. All three children were a part of the Newport School District and Superintendent Tony Watts released a statement today saying in part, all of us are grieving over the horrible loss of life that happened on Monday. Watts says grief counselors will be available at Newport Intermediate School all this week from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Paula. Mm, prayers throughout the community, I am sure. And there is a fundraiser to help cover hospital and funeral expenses. So far, it's about a quarter of the way to the $60,000 goal. We have set up a link to it at local12.com.